Holy crabby patties, guys. It is already June. Like, where did May go? Honestly, I can't even remember the last time I did a monthly favorites video. Can you guys remember? I have no idea. So this isn't going to be just a monthly favorites. It originally was, but now that I'm sitting here looking at all of this stuff, I'm thinking that this will just have to be kind of like current favorites. So this one's gonna be a little bit long, uh, just so you know. So if you need to grab a snack or a drink or something, go ahead and do that. I just like too much stuff right now and there are too many things that make me so happy that I feel like I need to share with you guys. We have music, we have beauty, we have skincare, we have lifestyle stuff in general. So let's go ahead and dive into all this good stuff. If you guys like this kind of video and want me to make more of these and more consistently, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Those kinds of things really help me know what you guys actually want to see and what's garbage, basically. Some of these products in this video were sent to me for free for my consideration. Of course, everything in this video I personally use and love, just so you guys know, but I figured I would throw that out there. So first thing I have here, I was so excited to try out. I've only gotten to try it once so far um, because I just, just got it. This is the V2 Code Oxygen Eye Mask. So this is an eight hour overnight eye mask. So you're supposed to wear it while you're sleeping, which I've never seen before in a sheet mask. And I was like, there's no way that these are gonna stay on my face. So two nights ago, I tried these for the very first time and I was a little skeptical. I was like, there's no way that these are going to stay on my face, but they're like a gel-like consistency with a cotton pad on the back, basically. And it just like, it just like sucks to your face and it stays there and does not move. It doesn't slip around. It's not like slimy. Um, and it's not like super overly wet or saturated with like a serum like I've found in other under eye patches that I've used before and doesn't move at all. And I'm a side sleeper, so I was very, very impressed with how long they stayed on my face. You can also wear them during the day for three to four hours. They just won't give you the best effect that you can possibly get from it from wearing it for eight hours. When I took them off, I was like, oh my gosh. It was almost like this whole area under my eyes that's like kind of a depression was almost like filled in. Like it was, it really did plump my under eyes and I did not think that that would happen. I don't know what it is in them that makes them do this to your under eyes, but they looked amazing. And then they looked really, really great this morning when I woke up as well. And I feel like the effects of it last a really, really long time. And my makeup is just sitting so flawlessly on top of my skin. This box actually comes with six masks in it and you can use it like two times a week. This would be the kind of item that I would use if I had like an event or a special occasion coming up. This isn't something that I would use all the time um, because it is a little bit pricey, but I would totally use that for those certain times. Okay, next skincare item I have here is a face wash. So this is the DHC face wash powder. I have been searching high and low for another face wash powder that is like the same kind of consistency and feeling and gets my skin as clean as the Tatcha rice powder. And this is almost exactly the same. It's made in Japan, so I'm assuming that this may be rice powder as well, but this works exactly the same where you just kind of pour a little bit of the powder in your hand, add just a little bit of water, and it lathers up. And it just feels so nice to rub all over your skin, and I feel like it does a really good job at washing away any makeup I have left on my face, and it doesn't make me break out. It doesn't cause anything to happen, so I really, really like it. It's a nice and gentle way of exfoliating your face. I recently, like not too long ago, maybe a couple of months ago, did an up updated skincare routine where I showed you guys all the stuff that I had been using, um, and then all of a sudden my skin just started breaking out like crazy, and I didn't know why. I felt like maybe I was using too many products, and it was just overloading my skin, and it was just freaking out. So what I did was kind of just stop using everything that I was using and this company had reached out to me and asked me if they, if they could send me some product and I was like, 
you know what, why not, what, what do I have to lose? I need to start over right now anyway and just see if I can get my skin back under control. And fast forward to like a month and a half later, this is all I use. I don't use any of that other stuff anymore. I'm not saying that it's not good, it's just that I've been using this and I found that it cleared my skin and does meets every need that my skin has that um, I don't really need to add the other skincare products. I mean, I still do masks. As far as everyday face products go, in terms of things that stay on your skin, these are the only three items that I use. So these are the products that I'm talking about. This is from a company called Drunk Elephant, and they actually carry these at Sephora. First of all, I just really love how brightly colored and cute the packaging is. It has made such a difference in my skin. My skin stopped breaking out. For the most part, it's really tamed my texture in my skin. It's made it really smooth, and it's also, um, prevented like whiteheads from popping up randomly. I tend to get a lot like right in my cheek area. I needed something that was going to prevent those from happening so that the residual um, hyperpigmentation and scarring could lighten up so that I could possibly finally be on the road to clear skin without makeup. So we're still, we're still in the recovery point here. So I still have some discoloration on my cheeks and my chin, but we are making moves toward a brighter future. So basically what this is is a three-step system, except it's not three steps. You actually mix all three of the products together and just put them all on your face at once, which saves so much time, honestly, and I'm so happy that they do it that way. They call it like a smoothie or a cocktail or something. I have the Proteiny Peptide Cream, which is your moisturizer, and like I said, the um, like applicators or the way that you get the product out are just really efficient and um, more hygienic. What you do is you push down on the top and the product will come out so that you're not like scooping your dirty fingers into the product and contaminating it. Um, this does a really great job at hydrating my skin. I can use this by itself during the day just to moisturize my face and then I'll use all three of these products together at night. So the second product that you mix in is the TLC Fram Boost Glycolic Night Serum. I feel like it does great things for your skin whether it be on your body or your face in terms of texture and breaking out, this one has been the number one game changer type of product for my skin personally. So anything with glycolic acid in it, I'm all over, I'm all about, and I totally recommend to you guys. It can make your skin a little bit sensitive to the sun though, so that's why I use it only at night and I use a sunscreen during the day. You'd expect it to just open and have a pump inside, but you twist the top and it kind of pops up like that. I just think that's so cute. I've never seen that before on a product. So what I'll do is I'll take one pump of this, add one pump of the glycolic serum, and then finally I add two drops of this oil. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This does a really great job, especially if you have dry skin um, to hydrate. The combination of the three of those together has just been perfect for my skin. If you guys are having any issues like that or you're trying to find something a little bit more just like condensed in your skincare routine, I definitely recommend trying out some of their products. I don't think you guys have seen this on my channel yet, but I made a little mini video using it on my Instagram uh, maybe a month and a half ago and I've been using it about twice a week since then and I feel like it does a really great job at pulling out the blackheads in my skin. So. What I'm talking about is the Alia Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. I love this. I love this so much. A little bit goes a long way. I mean, I've been using this for maybe a month and a half now too, and I've only used up this much of it. It also smells really, really good. It kind of reminds me of the smell of like baby sunscreen. You know, like the copper tone babies. Something like that, like something from my childhood when I was a, when I was a baby on the beach, I feel like it's just so reminiscent of the scent. I love it. They also gave me a coupon code when they first sent this to me to share with you guys, so I will leave that on the screen and in the description box below. Of course, everything that I talk about today will be linked down below as well so that you guys can find it easily. So here I have four products, three of which I've been loving this month, and then one that I've had a little bit longer that I've been using nonstop since I got it. And uh, so I guess I'll just start with my concealer. So a lot of you guys know that I am a die-hard Tarte Shape Tape fan, and I couldn't live without it. Well now, 
I'm all about the Laura Mercier life because this concealer is, I didn't think that it could be any better than it was, but it is. So this one is the one that as soon as I got it, I kind of just stopped using my Tarte Shape Tape in terms of my under eyes. This is the most amazing concealer that I have found thus far. And I have pretty dry, pretty uh, wrinkly under eyes. I don't know if you'd call them wrinkly, but I have a lot of really fine lines and I have like a little bit of a fold here that always tends to crease. This is the Laura Mercier, it's their Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. And I just, I can't say any more good things about it. I got the shade 2W and that was perfect for me. I can wear this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup at all and it completely blends into my skin and looks like I'm wearing nothing. It just makes my under eyes look so good, guys. I'm not even kidding. This one, this is gonna be my number one for a long time. So my next two makeup related beauty favorites are both from the Smashbox Vlada MUA collab. The first one is the Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. Like, shimmer setting sprays have been on the rise lately, but I feel like they only look good with a filter over them or if you have just, like, inhumanly smooth skin with no wrinkles or texture whatsoever because I sprayed this on my face and I was like, oh my god, I felt like I aged myself, like, 10 years, and I was like, this is awful. But then... But then, my friends, I went to Florida, and I was like, maybe I should try spraying this on my body instead. When you put it on your body, you can just take, I just take my hands and rub it in, and it made my skin look so glowy and nice, and it was like hydrating and cooling. It didn't really seem to get on my clothes at all either. I think that once it dries, it doesn't, it doesn't have so much of a color that it's going to transfer onto your clothes or your swimsuit or whatever. So uh, I would definitely recommend this one if you guys are looking for some kind of like body shimmer type of deal. Another product that I really, really loved from this release was the highlighter. Because look at this packaging. This is like one of the most beautifully packaged highlighters I have ever seen in my makeup career. And not only is the outside beautiful, but the actual highlighter itself is also a flower. Like, I just can't get over this. I love this one so much. And it's not even just how it looks. It's also the way that it's a completely different formula as well. It, it almost... I don't know. It's not like dry and flaky. It almost like has the look of being slightly liquid. I don't know how to really explain it, but I just feel like it's a completely different texture. It can be worn pretty sheer and natural, or you can build it up for something a little more intense. I am wearing it today. It's just absolutely beautiful to look at and have in your collection in general. First up, I have my Temp2 at-home airbrushing system. I bought this a year ago. I've only just started using it consistently on myself because I am a wedding makeup artist. I bought this for my kit to use on my wedding clients because of the fact that it has no hose, it doesn't need to be plugged into the wall, I can just charge it and it was super easy to use and I loved the foundations. So I would only once in a while use it on myself if I felt like just being kind of bougie. And it's funny because all of my clients always ask me when I'm doing the airbrush foundation on them, they're like, do you do this to yourself every day? And I was always like, no, like why would I do that? But <laughs> I've been using this for a good solid month now on myself and I've actually invested in um, pods of my own foundation color. This one is one that you can use to mix the colors. I invested in my own because, again, like I said, my skin was going crazy and breaking out and I didn't know what was causing it. So then I started just using my airbrush and the changes have been insane. So not only do I love this for my professional life, I love it for my personal life as well. If you guys want, I can make an entire video telling you guys about like why I stopped wearing regular foundations, what I think of this. I can go over this and what products I use with it and accessories and, you know, just anything that you would want to know about this because I did buy this myself. I feel like this is a very underrated product in the beauty community. So, um... Yeah, if you guys want to see a video like that, leave me a comment down below and let me know and I will make an entire 
video dedicated to this product. And then the last product I have here for the beauty section is kind of um, just like a little hack, like time-saving, lazy girl, cheap girl hack that I have. And that is fake nails. Uh, more specifically, the Kiss fake nails that you can get at Walmart. I believe they they run from like five to seven dollars each, and they come in all different lengths, different styles. Personally, my favorites are all the acrylic nude because they look like acrylic nails. They they're a little bit thicker. They also um, they aren't painted. You can paint them if you want, but these ones have the French tips and they don't chip. Like the paint doesn't come off of them, so they don't look gross. They literally stay like this until they all come off of your hands. They usually last me about a week to a week and a half depending on how uh, careful I was in applying that. I love these especially if because I'm not the kind of person who always wears nails or always feels like I need them on. I'm also very impatient. I don't like going to the salon and sitting there. I also don't want to pay that much money. Like I'd rather spend my money on other things than getting my nails done. That's just not a priority for me. So at least not at this point in my life. I always want to look professional when I'm working. When I'm working weddings, I know that photographers are going to be taking pictures of me, um, doing people's makeup, and I don't want my like raptor claws in the photo. So I feel like putting fake nails on just makes me look a little bit more polished and professional and put together. Aromatherapy um, body wash and foam bath wash from, that I got from Bath and Body Works. Um, I just love these two scents in general. I love running these into my bath water to have a bubble bath. I feel the power of aromatherapy. I feel like some people think it's just like this made up thing, but I feel like it really does help me, um, depending on the scents and it really affects my mood and my, um, overall well-being. So, this one I love because it's vanilla and patchouli. Patchouli is one of my favorite scents ever. I think just because it kind of reminds me of my dad um, and just being a kid and being with my dad and just had those happy memories. It's supposed to be for comfort, so I mean, I get it. It's totally a comforting s scent for me. And then the other one I really like to use at nighttime because this one is for sleep and this is lavender and cedarwood. Cedarwood smells so good. Last beauty item is the self tanner that I've been using uh, since I got this one, basically. I hated it the first time I used it. I think I mentioned this in another video, like a vlog, just randomly. This is my new go-to. I feel like Loving Tan has now taken the back seat to this one, um, just because the overall color is darker, even more dark than the ultra dark Loving Tan, and it is so much less expensive. I think this one was $30. This is the Mind Tan Super Dark Coffee Coconut Water Bronzer. It's one hour express tan. I like to wear this for as long as possible. I'll usually wear this for about six hours or overnight. And um, either way, it gets you really, really dark and a really believable dark tan. The only thing I don't like about this one is it takes a little bit longer than the Loving Tan to actually dry on your skin. So you do feel a little bit sticky for a little while. Um, but that is really honestly the only drawback to this product that I can find. And it's so much cheaper to buy and lasts so much longer than buying the Ultra Dark Loving Tan. I'm a backpack wearer and I got this one from Target and I love it and I think that you guys would love it too so that's why I want to talk about it. It's faux leather and it's really really nice quality. It has this almost like crinkled texture to it and I just feel like it's really stylish and it looks dressy, but it's not super expensive. Um, I like to use backpacks when I'm working because, um, because I have to carry so many different things. I have my makeup kit. I have a bag of like other extra stuff that wouldn't fit in my makeup kit. I have my giant chair and then so I bring a backpack instead of a purse so that I can fit all of my essentials like my camera and stuff like that that I need to bring to work with me and I can just strap it to my back. So in general I use it for that. It also helps me sneak all of my snacks into the movie theater because that's how I live my life. Next up we have a few swimsuits. Of course we have swimsuits because I've been doing nothing but swimsuit hauls lately. I hope that you guys have been enjoying those. They've been a lot of fun for me, honestly. Um, I wish that I lived somewhere closer to the beach, that I could be using these constantly. I had to 
kind of cut down on how many of these I actually kept. Um, a lot of them I am reselling on my Poshmark account uh, so that you guys can get your hands on them and not have to wait months for them to come in, especially from companies like Zoffel and Cupshe and stuff like that. I loved them, but I was like, you can only honestly keep like one from each place because there's no sense in having like 50 bikinis and not wearing them at all. So one of these is actually from Zoffel and it came in late, guys. This one actually wasn't in my video, but this one ended up being probably my favorite of all of the Zoffel bikinis I got. I don't know, I just felt like it was really flattering and really cool and something completely different than anything else that I wear. And that is this snake print bikini. What I love about it is that it like is high waisted in that it makes your legs look really long. It's not in that it gives you a lot of coverage, but it also has like the slightly cheeky tanga bottoms, not completely thong, not completely full coverage. And I feel like it just suits my body really well. And the top actually looked a bit different than it does now. It had like this piece that tied around the middle and totally made it not fit my boobs at all because it was just making it way too small. But wearing it like this where it's just kind of like a tank top and goes around my body is perfect. It fits me perfectly at a 32 double D. Um, this was a size medium and it fits me great. So if you guys are the same size and are looking for a really cute, nice swimsuit, um, I definitely recommend trying this one out from Zoffel. Another bikini favorite that I've been wearing all the time, but also kind of been just like wearing this one around the house in general because it's so comfortable. And this one is from a company called Rack Apparel, but it's for girls who have bigger chests and bigger cup sizes. They have so many cup sizes. They're an Australian brand and I just love it. It's just so comfortable. It's not padded. It's just like the regular lining, but it still gives you support. Like it's the nice stretchy, thick, swimsuit material. The more that you wear it, the more it kind of like molds to your body. So if you guys are interested in getting a bikini and not knowing what size you should get or what's going to work for you, like reach out to them because they they know their stuff. Like they know their sizing and they'll totally be able to help you out so that you make sure that you get the right size the first time around. They also gave me a coupon code to share with you guys for 15% off. So I will leave that here as well. If you guys want to look into a swimsuit like this. They also have bottoms on their site and they're the standard like low rise full coverage bikini bottoms but, but I really like to pair this top with one of my Zoffel bikini bottoms because this is just such a cute print and um, I didn't really like the top that went with this one so I feel like now I can wear it and it goes perfectly with that top and these just look so good together. And then I have one more bikini that I wanted to mention to you guys right now. I actually bought this a few months ago so hopefully it's still online. It's from ASOS and, and that is this bride bikini. A lot of people are going to be getting married this year and even next year and I'm getting married this year in October and my bachelorette party is coming up soon so what we're doing is we're going to the beach to Atlantic City and it's going to be so much fun so I was like I want like a bride bikini like I just thought that it would be so cute to wear for a picture on the beach so they had this one at ASOS and it comes in so many different sizes so many cup sizes and it's so flattering on just fits me perfectly so I figured I would mention that to you guys now into fitness stuff next up is a sports bra that I recently picked up from Victoria's Secret this is one of their newest sports bras I've had this for like a month and a half now but I'm just talking about it now um because I finally got around to it. <laughs> Sorry guys. I got this one in a 32 double D. It fits me perfectly. It comes in cup sizes, which is really nice. Um, it's great for high impact type of activities. I love the white color. It goes with a lot of my leggings that I don't really have tops to match with. If you guys want an entire dedicated video to all of my favorite sports bras for larger breasts, um, I can totally make that video for you. Just leave me a comment down below. My last fitness related item are the Bluetooth headphones that I got off of Amazon. So I got these a while ago, maybe like four months ago. I forgot to tell you guys about them, but they're the OTM Bluetooth headf headphones. They have changed my life, honestly, coming from a girl who is still using her cord beats, her like giant beats with the cord on them for so long and just getting tangled in everything anytime I tried to go to the gym. Uh, these were a lifesaver and I almost almost caved and bought the $150 like 
I don't even remember, the Bose headphones, and I'm so glad that I didn't. I happened to see someone mention these ones on Facebook and picked them up for $20. Mike also ended up buying a pair, and these are amazing. I could do not. They sound so good. You put them in your ears, and even like once you put them in your ears and screw them in without music on, you can hardly hear anything around you. And yeah, so I love these. Uh, if you guys are looking for some headphones, these ones are really good. I will link them down below too. For some reason, I can't go a month without buying something from Gymshark. It's a real problem. Um, but what can I say? I'm just obsessed with their stuff. I can't help it. I got one of the towel tops from one of their latest uh, releases. I got one of the short sleeve khaki towel tops. It's a cropped t-shirt kind of thing and I wouldn't say it feels like a towel like I've never felt a towel that feels like this but it does have like a different type of feel to it and it's just super uh like casual and I just like kind of throw it on with a pair of high-waisted jean shorts and just put it on over a sports bra or something if I want to just relax for the day or just like run out of the house to go do some stuff I wear this a lot like this is probably going to be one of my most worn items because you know I'm a couch potato and just sit around the house and wear the same thing every single day so yeah also, can you guys tell how ho hoarse my voice is getting? I feel like I'm losing my voice right now because I've literally been talking for so long. We're almost done, though. So I have three more items left. Here we have a pair of high-waisted jean shorts, and I found these shorts at Express, and I saw these. They were on sale, so hopefully they're still on the site, but these are some of the best jean shorts I have ever bought. They are slightly big on me, but I don't hate it because that means I can just pull them down a little bit further. I just feel like they're a nice classic, like very high quality feeling denim material. And if you guys are in the market for a pair of excellent jean shorts, I would 100% recommend that you check out the ones that they have at Express. And the next thing we have here are these pair of slides that I got from American Eagle. I love these so much. I honestly wear these all day around the house as well. I love these. I feel like they're great quality. They're like this, they're not squishy. They're like, they're like a foam material, but they're not squishy foam. And they have this contouring in here that also helps keep them on your feet. I do not know how they would work if you are um, being rained on or if the, the ground is wet or your feet are wet. I feel like they might slide around in them and you might slip, but so I would be careful. But they have these really cute like satiny bow kind of um, design on the top. I just feel like they give it give you like a step up in the dressy factor from regular flip-flops So that's why I really like them. So my last favorite is the one that I'm kind of most excited about right now because you guys know that I love Harry Potter so um, this is actually the game that Mike got me for my birthday back in September. Um, this is the Harry Potter Hogwarts battle game. And when, when I first got this, we played this constantly. Like we played this for probably a month straight and then we just kind of set it aside and got really busy and we were working a lot and we hadn't played, but we pulled it out last night and we, I'm not kidding you guys, we played for three hours last night while the Yankees game was on. And it was just so much fun, and it just re reminded me of why I love this game so much. Um, so if you guys are also Harry Potter fans and also like to play board games, you guys will absolutely love this one. It's a deck-building cooperative game. So basically you play with your friends. You can play from, I think, two to four players. You play as Ron, Hermione, Harry, or Neville, and basically what you do is you spend coins that you get in the game to build a deck full of different spells, different allies, which are different characters in the game that can help you with different abilities and things like that, and then also items that you've seen in the movies as well. And you use all of those to defeat all of the villains and ultimately defeat Voldemort. So basically, you, there are like seven games in one in this one. So you start at year one and you have to go through all of the different locations that you'd see in the first movie and um, defeat all the characters that you meet in the first movie and then you just uh, you just keep moving on and moving on as you defeat people to get through each year or you can just start at year seven which is what we did yesterday and it took three hours so and I just think it's really fun it's really um, it's like a challenging game where you actually have to like think about your move before your turn starts and you have to really work together and uh, choose abilities and things like that that will um, 
ultimately help each other out so that you guys stay alive because there are plenty of times that we've played where Voldemort has ultimately won and we were just dead. So, uh, yeah, it's just a really fun game. We got it off of Amazon, and they also have an expansion pack on Amazon as well that has a lot of, like, creatures and stuff and, like, monsters and stuff in it, I think. So that is going to be next up on our purchase list. So, and so I just thought that was worth sharing with you guys uh, if you guys are into the same kinds of things. Wow, so that was a long one. Uh, it is. It has been probably four hours that I've been filming this video because I've had to keep switching out my camera because it's so hot in here. And I just talked so much. I really hope that this video isn't very long. So hopefully this was helpful and you guys have some new items that you might want to try out or old favorites that maybe you even forgot about um, that you need to reintroduce to your life. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and all that good stuff so that you guys don't miss my videos, and you guys know how much it means to me that you guys stick around. It really, really does. Um, I have so much fun doing these videos for you guys, and I will see all of you muggles again very soon. Bye!